everyone, now here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new My Little Pony video. <laughs> yeah, um, actually if you're new here, I'm not only like a vintage toy collector, you see like I'm a huge My Little Pony Generation 1 collector, also other vintage toys, but I'm also making other kinds of videos. Um, I'm also a cosplayer or um, I'm a Disney nerd. But lately I'm really focusing on the toy collecting side of things, um, mainly because like 2020 hasn't been very cosplay friendly. Um, I try to keep up with the cosplay game and, and doing, pumping out cosplays and trying to make also cosplay related videos, but as there are no conventions, I'm really getting tired of like just going out in the nature and doing cosplay shootings there. So that's why I kind of stopped for a while to focus on cosplay and that's why there are so many like toy collecting videos. Um, I don't know how long this will go and, and but if you're just not interested in those videos then I'm not mad about it, just don't watch those videos. But for everyone who's into My Little Pony, this will be a My Little Pony celebration here because I've got tons and tons of boxes for a uh, unboxing video. I have, I think, collected um, those like online buys, like these online pickups um, for now two or three weeks or, or even longer. I think maybe two, three weeks and I kept buying more and then I kept buying more and they piled up and I never like um, knew what time I should stop to do this video and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes and I have actually more there behind the camera um, but these don't contain My Little Ponies but all of this should be Generation 1 My Little Ponies and if um, there's something else in, I will put it in another video because uh, I've also purchased some, some other vintage um, toys which then will be the next video. So I have just um, like cut these boxes open so I don't have to struggle with uh, getting them open. <laughs> getting them open. Um, so I obviously know what I purchased but some of the stuff is already some weeks ago so I might be like surprised. Ah yeah, this was also in there and um, and I just peeked like in if this is really like pony related because obviously sometimes I also buy completely different things and I don't want to like I don't know then show you um, something else that I, that I bought so anyways I'm blabbing enough this will be a very long video so maybe you just grab yourself like a nice cup of tea or or like some snacks or whatever because uh, I think this will be take a long time okay let's start with I don't know this one uh, I've obviously not purchased any Converse shoes, but let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, this is this one. So there are four My Little Ponies in here. And for a great price. Most of the stuff, by the way, is purchased on, um, on eBay Kleinanzeigen. So eBay Classifieds. So uh, more like a private site, not, not, not that like with bidding and auction. So, um, and lately I had great luck whenever I, I asked them, the ponies were still available. And also um, I had some really nice conversations with the sellers and stuff like that. So that was really, really pleasant. And this box of four ponies, I think I purchased for 18 euro. So they might not be in the very best condition, but that's always with the stuff I purchased. I am trying to get it cheap and then the, obviously the conditions are always the best. So what are we here? Okay, yeah, as you see the hair and stuff like that might not be in the best condition. But I love to work on the ponies. So this is a precious pocket pony. So um, I think the name is just Lil Pockets. And these precious pocket ponies they have actually something like 3D molded as their cutie marks. They're actually kind of special. There were four ponies released in, I think, year nine, so 91 to 92. So a little bit later in the pony um, release, in the generation, pony, generation one pony release. And they have these 3D molded on cutie marks. 
just on one side, so the other side doesn't have a cutie mark at all, which is also something special. They came out in two very um, new molds. So this is like a mold that was just used for those two ponies. Uh, so this one and I think bunny hops, so the mold, so the pose is also called bunny hops pose so from the other pony. And actually, you may maybe can see it, here actually would be something else attached. There was also a string and then another like plastic item which you could put into the pocket. So I think this one had like a, a coin. I guess it was a purple coin that you then could put in here. So it's like a piggy bank. And um, I've never seen uh, this pose like in person. Really nice. And it also has some butterflies around it and the hair is like crazy. But I guess I can work with it. I'd be dry, but otherwise kind of okay condition because I have seen these ponies a lot online with completely missing these 3 the things and then just like three holes in the body. So nice. This is I think just little pockets or pocket pockets, little pockets. Let's let's keep it like this. Then we have a baby ballerina pony. So it's not my third one. Uh, this is baby oh my goodness so I have baby sweet steps and baby soft steps and then this is baby toe dancer I think baby tippy toes is the blue one so this is baby toe dancer these ballerina ponies or baby ballerina ponies are also kind of unique because they also don't have any cutie marks or symbols as we should say for the generation one ponies but they have these uh, I would say like I don't know, ballerina bodies here and all of their legs are movable and I think they had as well. And they came with kind of long hair and I think this could be still the correct length of hair. Don't think that it is uh, cut too much. And it also has the forelock and it is really good condition I have to say. It's a tiny, tiny spot but otherwise they were also released in the same year. So, nine, so year 9, 1991 to 1992. Um, and yeah, I have now three of them, so I'm just missing the blue one. I'm just missing um, baby tippy toes, so this is baby toe dancer. Then there's another pony, also from year nine, so I guess these were all purchased from the same person in the same year. And oh my goodness, yeah, she, I knew that, she is in a kind of a very bad condition. Look. Someone drew, uh, like, I don't know, a green necklace around her neck. Here's a blue spot. Here is something red. Oh, oh my gosh, here. Um, but the hair looks great. This is actually um, snow Schneeglöckchen in German. So snowdrop, I guess. Because she's got snowdrop flowers, if they are called like this, um, as her uh, symbol. And she belongs to the uh, flower ponies, or in German they were, I guess, they were called like um, Vergiss my nicht ponies. So where it was a set of four ponies, with all with like different flower symbols. One with like tulips, one with um, I, I don't know, I don't even remember. And but they are a Euro exclusive set, so not released in the US whatsoever. Um, she's really cute. Her hair color is kind of unique. I've never. No, no, it's not, it's not even this hair color. It's a really nice coral. Oh, I guess there were ponies, for example, the, the rainbow ponies from year like three. So second set of rainbow ponies also had coral in their hair, but I've never seen like this color combination is beautiful. I hope I can do something about all of this stuff here. But I've just started getting into this whole thing of removing, um, different spots and stuff on ponies so maybe maybe I find something that that will work otherwise I can always like paint over but that this would be my, my, my least favorite option what I can do with her and there's another one in this box Ta -da! cherry treats oh her hair is so nice her hair is so nice and her body is not even so yellowed Um, yeah, Cherry Treats belong to the Sweetberry Ponies. She's, uh, I think, one year earlier than these two, uh, three, so she would be year eight. No, I think she's even year six. Yeah, she's year six, so she's from 80, 87 to 88. 
and these sweet berry ponies had all like uh, cutie marks with uh, different berries and, and sweet treats and she has got cherries because her name is also cherry, cherry treats like a bowl of cherries and they were scented ponies so each one of them scented like smelled like uh, what was their theme so Of smell because I always have to compare that. Does she smell at like like anything? She doesn't smell like anything, but she smells like something. Yeah, I guess there's still a little bit of sweet smell. She is gorgeous, and she's actually like notorious for yellowing. Um, she was actually like a super stark white pony uh, originally, and but I don't know what what kind of material they used for her, but she is like like most of the ponies nowadays are super yellow or super gray and she is kind of okay maybe if I clean her up a little bit it, it even gets better so I'm super happy super happy you also can't sun fade this girl because when you try to sun fade her she will just sunburn that's how she gets so easily like this yellow color because she kind of takes when when sunlight hits her she gets yellow and not why she doesn't fade okay Four ponies, just one box. I guess this video will be 100 days long. Let's keep it going. What do we have here? Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember this one. So here is also something else which I won't show you. So I will just show you the ponies. Let's start here. Are also some fakies in there because this was also a lot um, that I got off of eBay Kleinanzeigen, which was, it was very cheap, like, I don't know. I don't remember. So it's a lot of ponies. Some of them are fakies, so that's okay. I don't like these. I know that they are also vintage fakies. There are these um, from Zim Zimba, probably these um, Traumland ponies. Nice, nice body body color, I should say. But yeah. Um, let's just start getting all the fakies out because here are also three fakies which have these saddles which are actually kind of cute um, and an adult one so these kind of circus uh, pony or, or they, they kind of tried to to do um, um, what the uh, merry-go-round ponies did with these um, sculpted on saddles but they are not original My Little Ponies But in terms of fakies, I kind of like them. Yeah, let's see. But here's also, of course, some real My Little Ponies. Here we've got um, Baby Tappy, which is a newborn pony, which I already have, but like she was in there. She is so common. Um, yeah, I'm okay with having her again. Nothing so special. And here is like one that I really wanted to have. It's one of the Sweetheart Sister Ponies. This is a Flower Burst. So it's a blue one, Flower Burst. She has got this beautiful, um, this beautiful bouquet of flowers here, or tulips probably. She still has her earring. And overall, she's in a good condition. I think I can definitely work with this hair. It's like super <laughs> tangled, but. A tangled is nothing like too too difficult to, to fix, you know. A little bit of conditioner. She might have a little bit of uh, tail rust, so I have to get into her. But still, like her body looks quite good. Here's a little bit of dark uh, spots, but super happy. This was one of the girls in this lot which I really wanted to have. But there are also more. Actually, I also wanted to have the thought because of the other item, which is not a pony, which actually is a pony, but it's not a pony. It's, I mean, it's not my little pony, but it's also not a fakey pony. So I will show you that. Maybe you can guess what it is uh, in the other haul, which I will uh, in the other uh, unbagging unboxing um, video, which I will uh, film a little bit later. And there are also two. Ah, okay. Ah. Okay, 
have to check that. There are definitely two baby ponies, which I don't have. This is um, baby cotton candy. I knew that she's in a kind of a bad condition uh, from uh, year three or year four, depending on she was um, released like this one. Uh, in the American release of 84, 85 um, like baby ponies or she came out in the, as well in the German baby pony set which was re released a year later so uh, 85, 86 and actually yes this is her rocker so that's great I never had any of these uh, accessories and I was uh, thinking about like oh this is also included sure that, that's cool and then I researched and it belongs to um, baby cotton candy yay she is actually supposed to have uh, pink hair like this fading pink hair and then she has like uh, here a cut forelock and I think I would just rehair her like rehairing such a small pony it doesn't take a long time her body looks very good um, and yeah another one also a pink one which is also supposed to have uh, pink hair also this fading pink hair, maybe I just do the same because it's also cut and very, very dry. This is Baby Lickety Split. They're all kind of common ponies and um, it, it's nothing special, but all of them were missing in my, in my collection still. Baby Lickety Split, she's got these uh, ice cream cones here. And um, I actually, I'm not sure in which release she came out because what I know is that uh, in the US, um, there were baby ponies released uh, in year four, which were the Betty by Eye baby ponies. So they, they had these um, eyes where the eyelids could close and open when you like shake them, you know, which some dolls have this feature as well. They kind of look creepy, <laughs> not everyone's the biggest fan of them, but Baby Lickety Split was released in, in this um, version. This is obviously not the version. Um, and then the uh, UK or Euro uh, version um, was released. Um, they, they had the same characters, all of the same ponies, but not in this Betty by Eye version, but with like normal eyes and normal baby poses. But then again, I don't even think that she's from this release because she has got one of these. Do you see that? One of one tooth here. So she must be actually then from the first tooth baby ponies. I have to research that because I just noticed like um, or maybe this was the version that was released then in Euro or maybe she was released again uh, baby like she split in this first tooth um, baby pony version I'm not exactly sure like if this is the same release or this is another one. Oh my goodness anyways I do not have them and yeah this other item I will keep for the other unboxing of other vintage toys. Uh, let's get the pony out of this envelope. There's just one in and I know which one it is because I had to look in what it was in this I No. And it is Love Melody. Love Melody is um, one of the uh, Twice as Fancy Ponies. So from the first Twice as Fancy Ponies, so not the second set, which is kind of like thought after and expensive and anything. She's common, um, but I'm, I was missing her. She's in the Quaker's pose, which is notorious for falling down. That's yeah, that's that's what I thought. <laughs> because the, the, the legs are so so together, maybe I can um, fix that. Because if you put like make it really warm it up and then let it cool like uh, let it cool down in the same um, pose where where maybe the legs you 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 stretch them and you put it in the correct pose. Um, maybe when it cools up, then I may I might be able to stand her. But anyway, she's also actually supposed to have pink hair. Fading pink hair. Um, it's interesting when sometimes here at the start of the tail, you still see a little bit of this pink. Can you see that? Uh, she actually looks like she has still good hair. I was also not sure if I just leave it like this or um, if I rehair her because I think I have a good. Um, fading pink option on, on, on hand right now but her hair is so nice I don't want to uh, get it out because I got myself something else which might be helping for repinking the hair meaning dyeing it and as this is um, all ponies have nylon hair and um, 
I know that there is um, a, a brand of, of um, fabric dye that uh, probably all Americans or whatever are using and this one is not really available in Germany and I found it in the UK like uh, for on eBay on the, in the UK but not the color I wanted so no pink light pink color um, so what I got Like this. What I got is um, these um, eye dye poly, so they are polyester and nylon, so it says um, vibrant color for polyester and nylon fabrics. And um, I have already dyed like polyester uh, fabric with it, so I know how it works. You can also like just put a little bit of the of the color in the, in the water and it gets lighter then. And when I mix these together and just very light, and very short dye, maybe I might be able to re-pink it. I will definitely try it first with one of these baby ponies, which I might also re-hair just. Um, but yeah, I got myself these uh, fabric dyes to try to uh, re-pink the hair. Um, I'm really happy. She looks uh, okay. She looks good. There's a little bit of dirt, but not really like spots that I think are I'm not able to get off. Yeah, love melody. Uh, the only one uh, from the uh, from of of <laughs> of the uh, twice as fancy ponies from the first year. So they were released first year. I mean um, the first release, not the first year. I mean they are from year five, so eighty six to eighty seven. Um, the only one that's missing from this set is up up and away. So I'm on, on lookout for up up and away. The other ones I do have. Uh, okay, uh, let's, 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 let's do this box. What's in here? Uh, kitchen roll paper. I, yeah, I know which one this is. So there are also three items, but only two of them are my little ponies. So I will keep the other one in there. And let's start. These are ponies I wanted to have for such a long time, but they are always so expensive. I mean, these ones weren't so expensive, of course, because the accessories are missing, because the accessories are kind of the thing which is the most expensive about these ponies. Can you already guess which ones they are? It's some of the Big Brother ponies. Oh my god. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, oh this is Tex. Um, the Big Brother ponies are some of the ponies which were released as male ponies. So all of the other ones here, these are all girls. But some sets were male ponies. And the Big Brother ponies were the first ones um, released in year 5, so 86 to 87. And they all came actually like they have um, like the cutie marks and their names resemble something that, that also then it could be a profession or something like a hobby or something. And this is Tex. Like, and he's a cowboy pony. <laughs> so, he has got these uh, cactuses here. Cact cact cacti? What, what's the plural in, in English? I don't know. Um, and so, he actually would also have a cowboy hat. That's the accessory that I mean. And then, like, uh, a hand handkerchief, which all of them had. But, like, these hats. They're sometimes more expensive than the ponies, and if you find them together with the pony, it's like ah, birthday and Christmas together for a good price because they can go for, I don't know, at least 40, 40, 40 50, 60 to 100 euro, depending on what you want to like spend and, and what the seller is uh, do, what does, does the, yeah think it is worth. Um, and I will probably never be able to, to, to have one with a hat. Or also the hats alone go for, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 euro <laughs> sometimes. Um, but I'm, I'm so happy. These, these, these big brother molds, yes, they have these molded on hair at the uh, hooves. So I, I don't know what the English word is in German. I would say Kutenbank uh, in German. Um, and he's in really good condition. So no markings, no spots nothing the hair is smooth and beautiful and he was i can i can i'm always really, really transparent he was 16 euro so that's a price i'm able to pay and i want to pay so give another one give another one they are so cute okay 
okay this might be a little bit cut here the forelock and um, this is steamer and also his hair is here I can I can see it here it is a little bit more like uh, fizzy and, and, and dry at the end um, maybe then this is also cut a little bit but maybe then I just also cut this off if it's like a little bit of one centimeter shorter I don't care this is a steamer he has he has a train as his symbol or beauty mark and obviously he is the train conductor pony so he's got this train conductor head purple one and and uh, also an handkerchief but another color <laughs> um i don't even know if he actually is supposed to have pink hair or if he has supposed uh, to have white hair might be faded or just might be like it is might also just be white hair I don't know why I can't remember that at the moment. I was talking so much about fading pink hair, so now I'm a little bit like, is he or is it? Is he supposed to have white hair? Maybe he's also supposed to have white hair. Oh, two of the big brothers. I never had them, so. Oh my goodness. I have just one other pony that it's in a male pony mold. Okay, let's put this aside because there's something else in here which is not a pony, and this time it's really not a pony. But it's vintage toy, <laughs> so for the next unboxing. Um, so we've got four boxes left. Um, continue, let's continue. Okay, okay, this is yeah, this this is really good because let's just continue with the gorgeous boys. Got another one. This is salty. His hair is really dry. Let's see what I can do about that. And but I guess his hair was purple and has grayed and a little bit faded over time. And oh, but he is also so cute. Yeah, this is salty. So he's he he's got like um, a ship, or a boat, or more like a ship. Ship as his cutie mark. And same gorgeous pose. He's supposed to be a sailor, obviously, right? Salty. So they are all like their themes were around like professions or also like hobbies because that's also one that's quarterback. I mean, I could also be a professional if he's, he's a professional football player. So, anyways, um, I guess they were not directly sold in Germany right then or right right away. I think they were released um, a little bit later. Together because there was also a second release um, of these ponies um, like one or two years later with three new ones and and then there were the, like, I guess these three were included again and the other three not so uh, I guess these are the three like most common ones to find over here in Europe or Germany by the way in the UK there was also a completely different set of Morton Boy ponies they are like most gorgeous boy ponies ever but like they go for hundreds and hundreds of euros so we will never be able to have one anyways i'm so happy that i have now three of the of the uh, big brother ponies and here's something else i almost forgot yes from the same seller i also purchased a baby pony it's another one of the um, newborn newborn baby ponies from here um, Year seven, so 1988, when I was born. Uh, dangled. He's got this, I don't know what you would call that, this dangling thing from uh, baby cribs on his uh, flank here. She's got like uh, a white body. The seller told me she's like kind of yellow, but I don't think that she's very yellow. So. And not in the best condition, but I guess she, I, I paid like four euro or something. And I guess I can do something about the hair. That's too terrible. And I might just do like like such a such a nice small curl, and then she will look beautiful. And she will be my fourth one. I mean, actually my fifth because mm, here she is the double of the same set. Um, six ponies in the set, so now I have four of them. So two are still missing. 
But they are not, not terribly thought after or anything you can... I will probably find them someday. So... Dangles! Uh, yeah, I know this is empty. What did she include? Oh, like a nice card something. So she, she says, I wish you all the best. Have fun with them and take good care of them. Uh, and <laughs> she included here this nice paper and then like a rainbow dash, a sticker. Uh, that's nice. Thank you. I don't think that you're watching, but <laughs> I'm so happy about all of the stuff here. Um, by the way, like I didn't pay like like hundreds of euro uh, for for all of this because I was really cautious about getting the ponies really cheap, as always. Like as I said, these were the most expensive ones. 16 per pony, 15, uh, 14, and then the other ones were like, I don't know, under 10 euro, definitely always, but sometimes like, as I said, like 18 euro for four ponies and stuff like that, so. Um, but I spent quite a lot of money on ponies again this month, um, mainly because I love to go flea marketing, but on flea markets you kind of never find generation one ponies. You find a lot of other stuff, but not ponies. Oh my god, how much, how much of this um, kitchen roll paper is in here? Uh, okay. What are these sheet ghosts? Is there even a pony in? No, there's not even a pony in. Where's the pony? Uh, okay, I guess there's the pony. I have no clue which one it is. <gasps> ah! Yes. That's Desi. Roller skate pony. I mean, there are, there are three roller skate ponies. Jazzy was my childhood pony. Uh, she is not in a very good condition. But that's obviously uh, the only chance I can get her um, if I'm not willing to pay like a huge amount of money because uh, she is a really kind of late pony in the generation uh, one pony line as all of the later ponies they were just released in Europe so she's a Europe exclusive set so they are really thought after um, she's not really rare or something like you find the roller skate ponies but every time I ask for them or I see them on, on eBay or whatever they are like not my price range and finally I found one which is also not a cheap pony but um, I was okay Paying that because she's one of my childhood ponies. Jessie from the Roller Skate Ponies, let's give it a close up. She's got this gorgeous neon, uh, neon pink, red, and, and um, green hair, bright yellow body, this heart with the wings, and she's got these molded on roller skates. Um, her tail is a little bit cut. Uh, the main thing about her definitely is that here she's got one of them, um, such a highlighter mark, something. And then definitely the first roller skate here is um, more like it has got, gotten a different color over the time. And nearly all of the wheels are missing. Actually, this is the one which had the mechanism because actually these you could um, pull them backwards and then they would roll like on their own. Oh, I just I can't do that anymore. Mine could that as a child. By the way, I didn't know that she was called Jazzy. She was always, uh, I guess I called her something like um, Roly, Roller Skatey, something like that. Um, she is from, as I said, uh, later, later release, so year 11 in the Pony uh, Generation 1 line. So that's 92 to 93, which makes totally sense. I'm born 88, so I would be about like four or five years old got her. So let's see what I can do myself about um, customizing some some wheels on there and the seller actually had two of her and I was like 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 I had to, had to choose which one of her I want and I choose the one which had still the same body color as the head color. They were both in not that good condition so um, but then I chose the one which, which had the, the highlighter mark, which I'm more okay with than a discolored head from a body. So, oh, I have her back. It's not that easy to get all of my childhood ponies back because some of them really are um, expensive nowadays. 
Yeah, sadly, sadly. No, yeah, that was the only pony. Was there something in here? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, two boxes left. Let's see what's in this black one here. Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this was the last one that, that, that arrived. The seller was really slow on answering and then really slow on sending it out, but I, I definitely wanted to have this one. It's also it's, it's, it's a common pony uh, because it's one of the Dancer Prince ponies, which have this um, like wheel here in front of their like, chest, and then you can you can actually make them make them uh, like move their tail and then they would dance here. I don't know. She seems kind of slow, so probably isn't working anymore. And she also is a pony with fading pink hair. But as you see, it is still pink. That's why I really wanted to have this one. And she was also like kind of cheap. So uh, I definitely wanted to have this pony. And then I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the answer. Please could you send me the... the um, uh, your real bank details, I want to pay the money. Uh, yeah, well, now I have her. Because I want to have all of the um, Dance and Prance ponies because I think they look really good together. They all are all in kind of the same pose. Just some have a horn, some of the some, some are a unicorn. And, and they are bright colors all together. They look really good. Um, so I'm still missing... Um, so she's my fourth one. Um, actually, I have already four, but one is a double, so... <laughs> We're down to the last box. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, that's kind of a heavy one. Let's see how many ponies are in here. to just continue with the next Dancer Prince Pony! Yay! Oh, I didn't even tell you the name of this one, right? I was like, oh, it's a Dancer Prince Pony! And um, this is... So this is Twirler. I have to always look up the names. This is Player. Yeah. Player has a guitar. I would just give you a detail shot uh, again. And Twirler has a records. That's his cutely mark of her. It's, it's all her. I, I know that she's supposed to be not working, yeah, but you can still do it like that way, but you can't make her twirl on her own, that's why she was um, very cheap, but I thought uh, like this okay, but, but, but condition wise she's, she, looks, she looks so good to me to just get her for some euros, so um, let's give you a detail shot of these two, so Whirler, Unicorn, and some Prance Pony from year 7, so year 88 to 89. And later. Dance and Prance Pony, by the way, were called uh, disco ponies in German. They came with all sorts of accessories like, um, like a boa, I don't know if it's called boa. Uh, to put around your neck, like fuzzy material with earrings, with um, clips which had like extensions. <laughs> um, I have none of that. I guess I found one at a flea market and I didn't recognize it. I just saw it on video and I was like, oh, why didn't I pick that up? That might be some accessories from the Dance Friends one. Anyways, um, I'm happy to have these two. So now I'm just one pony away from the set, uh, the complete set of the Dance of Friends ponies. Which is actually not something very special because they're cones. You find them very often. One of them I even found at the flea market, so... But I really like them. As I, as I, as I mentioned, their poses all resemble kind of the same and then they're just in different colors. And that looks, looks good together like um, your display. What else do we have here? Something, something very bright and neon peeks out. It's a nice flutter pony. Obviously without the flutter wings because you hardly ever find one with flutter wings. I have one so I can always like put them in the other ponies and take photos. So 
Uh, this one is Morning Glory, also Flutter Pony from the first release, Flutter Ponies of year five, I guess. Um, no, four, I think. I think they were, they came out in 85, 85 and 86, so you, you generation one, um, year four. And um, this one has got, no, it has got flowers, flower symbol, and um, like a minty uh, body, mint colored body, and these super bright yellow um, neon hair. Really, really nice color combination. Really like it all. And this one has a lot of blush. A lot of blush. Um, I think the hair is cut. And it's supposed to be longer. Um, I can show you my rose dust, for example. Uh, she has like curl hair and then it's even longer than this one. So it's definitely cut. But I have to admit, sometimes it looks better when hair is a little bit cut instead of having like a bush of, of fizzy hair at the end. So I'm not that mad about it. She's very cute. I really like uh, the Flutter Ponies, like from their, from their bodies, their molds. They're very unique. They're not an adult pony. They're not a baby pony. There's something in between. And um, I haven't gotten like in, like really want to collect the whole set. I always think like oh my god they're always missing the wings but I have found some really good looking uh, repro, repro wings which look really like the flutter wings uh, maybe I get them off Etsy and then I maybe try to collect the whole flutter pony set oh, no. Let's put her here. <laughs> no she doesn't stay on okay she stays on uh, morning glory Two ponies left! And it's actually the same pony. Eh? You purchased the same pony? Yes, I do and, and also not. I don't. Because actually both are... Um, both are posy. But both look kind of a little bit different. And um, both were 5 euro or something, so... I just grabbed both of them. So let's check um, kind of about the versions or something because I guess this is definitely a. Um, I really see it. It's an Italy version. Yeah. This is the Italy posy. What does she have here? I will show it to you in detail. I don't know what that is. Comes out of the tail. And this is probably just um, a faded one or it is something else. No. So this is this is probably just um, a faded posy because her hair is super wide. It's like white, white. Doesn't look like a, is it a, as it as if it is has been pink before, like this one. Because this one has really still nice pink hair. That's why I was so tempted to get her um, fading pink. That's a, that's the topic of this video. She has fading pink, but it looks really still really good. Um, also, the Italian posy has um, blue eyes, whereas the like, Hong Kong or uh, whatever posy has green eyes. I will show you to you in detail. But what I also think is really unique about this one, actually, that she has got white flowers, whereas every posy actually has pink or like light pink flowers. Um, and her hair actually doesn't show any sign of that it has been uh, pink before. Like most often you still see it at the at the start of the tail or like somewhere below. That's why I was like, <laughs> I mean, I didn't think that, but I know that there's actually a complete white posy with complete white hair and also with white flowers. I don't think that they, they, they turned white. They don't look like they faded to white. Also cutie marks most often don't fade, so. There is actually a, a um, Peruan, Peruvian um, posy that's this colorway. But this one would have um, marked uh, something else, not Hong Kong. This would have like a B A S A or something, or Basra or something underneath. So, so that's clearly not the one. But she extremely looks like the Peruvian one. Because she's so white. I don't know if she's just faded to white. Uh, or if there was also a Hong Kong version. 
um, with white hair. Oh my gosh. Posey actually is a very classic pony. It's a, it's a common pony. Posey is, uh, was first released in year 3, so 84 to 85, so a really early pony of the first set of um, Earth ponies. But uh, there were multiple releases. Posey was also released in a fuzzy, um, flocked, so soft version. And after this, so so just, I don't know, 86 or something, she was released in um, Europe. Um, in Europe she definitely uh, looked, she had more like bright pink um, flowers, so more what the flocked version would look under the flocking. Um, and then of course the Italian version, like this, also looks a little bit different. The Italian version has blue eyes. She was called Penelope, as far as I read. Um, yeah, there are so many different versions, of course, all around the world. Um, and I'm excited to have a completely white one. Maybe it's just faded. But it looks like if it could be a variant. So, yeah. Posy and Posy. And you can't even see the big brothers anymore. Let's put them here. That was all. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to finally now have them like visible because I have had the boxes for some time already and now I was able to unpack them all. I'm so happy. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my big, big ass pony haul and um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you really uh, enjoyed the video. Again, thank you for watching. See you uh, real soon and may the force be with you. Bye!